Let's try and build this barbell here. I have some dimensions here to go with. I don't know this diameter though for the plates to slide on so I had to go pull up the plates and see if I could find dimensions for this hole here in the center. You go here and they give you dimensions for the overall size and thickness but I had to scroll down under descriptions and here it is the center hole is two inches. So let's see if we can build this. We know it's 86 and a half inches long. Kind of weird that it's 52 but let's go ahead and uh, pop into our Katia. I set my preferences so I have my local axis or my axis system showing. That is the absolute axis. Okay, that has to be done through your preferences. The in work object is a part body, so I can go into the YZ sketch and create this. Um, there's several ways to do this, but I'm going to just do a simple revolution. And we're going to build the plates on the right side that's positive Y and build plates on the left side that's negative. <clears throat> So let's go into the YZ plane and create a sketch. And I'm just going to create half of this and mirror it. So I'll start here and I'm going to work right on the local axis, which I've said never do. I'm going to create that and I'm going to use my tool tablet or palette and just hit the tab button for the width being 86.52 divided by 2 because I'm going to build half of this and hit tab and then my height oh I you know what uh, it, they gave me a weird number it's 29 millimeters so I'm going to go 29 and then you got a key in lowercase mm oh boy can I do this divided by 2 and hit tab Okay, and when it does that, it automatically creates this dimension here for me. When I key in the values. Oops. Uh, some of these features designed to help us seem to make more headache for me. I'm just going to slide this away from there so I can see those numbers. Okay. Uh, and then the new system has this background in here. I'm not real keen on it, but it is what it is. The next thing is this is two inch diameter, six point sixteen and a quarter from this corner. So from this corner, I'm sixteen and a quarter that way. So let's do this. <clears throat> I'm going to start a rectangle on this corner on the bottom and then come over this way and I'll just go to the width and type in minus 16 and a quarter tab a height of can I not do minus and then a height of one for half and hit tab So that's the critical dimensions. Wait a minute, that should be 16 and a quarter. Wasn't it? Yeah, 16 and a quarter there, right? So I'm going to start cleaning this up. Why I was able to work right on the axis is because I'm going to go ahead and delete that line anyways that I worry about ties into the axis so the two lines that can't be worked with uh, trying to grab this green line here and delete that out there I'm not tying to axis because I'm the lines that were tied to the axis is now deleted anyways. 
All right, and then you're going to come over here, and I'm going to use the trim command, and I'm going to trim the top of the bar to the top of the sleeve here. And then I'm going to delete this line altogether. I don't need it. <clears throat> okay, so in reality, the plate's going to come here, but there's like a collar here, and I don't see any dimensions for this collar. So I don't know where you would get that dimension. What I do have is a distance between the sleeves 51.5. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is, if this is 2 inches, I'm just going to make this 3 inches in, in diameter. Because I don't see any dimensions. Maybe you guys can tell me later if you found a dimension. But I, I don't see any dimensions to control that sleeve. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm just going to create a simple rectangle. like so and I'm going to erase this line because I don't need it I'm going to trim this line here to here which means I don't need this little line anymore right there. And I'm going to trim this line to this line right here. That's going to represent the collar. Now in doing so, I've lost all my dimensions. So what I'm going to do is highlight this profile, go to Auto Constraint, and I'm going to reference this one. Nope. Why is there a little line there? I'm going to hit delete just to make sure. I got to, I want to get rid of this little line down here. So this is when it's nice to have that F1 button come up. The, the line, line on top of line. Um, instead, since I can't really get to it, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, sketch analyze this. Um, use edge. <clears throat> Wait, where are we? See if I can use the diagnostics tab and find that line which is the first one on the list because I created that little line there. I just want to blow that one out. So when I highlight that line, I can hit delete. Okay. And then I'm going to right click on this and do an auto search. And we're going to go to auto constraint. And I'm going to reference this line and this here. And I'm going to leave it in chain mode and say OK. Now, what I'm going to do here is this is one inch here. I'm going to fix this line so it can't move. Oops. I'm just going to anchor this for right now. I'm just going to fix that line. And everything else will turn green. So now I can start editing dimensions to get this where I want. Now this, I know I want to be a half inch taller, so I'm going to double click on this and go a half inch. This dimension 
I don't know. Well, I do, but I don't really have an actual number, but I know what it is. So what I need to do is control this dimension. So really what I want to do is, if you remember from my rules, we should have dimensioned to the point here. I'm going to try to grab that line. Then we're going to maintain this at half and, oh God, what was it? 29 millimeters divided by two. Yikes. What happened there? Twenty nine millimeters divided by two. Okay. And in the directions here, it said the distance between the sleeves. is 51.5 inches so I'm going to take that 25 if it were me I'd just make it 25 but we're making their bar so it is what it is 51.25 divided by 2 and hit tab and that gives me my profile and then what I would do auto search that profile and I'm gonna mirror that not symmetry I'm gonna mirror it so I keep the original and add the new half and I'm gonna mirror it about this vertical line Okay, there's no dimensions on this side because I have symmetry symbols, meaning that if any dimension changes here, this left side will automatically change with it. Yikes. I don't know. The new stuff kind of drives me crazy here. Let's see. So I've got my profile, and you may have heard me in other lectures say this is not a good idea to symmetry because I get a seam right here. I could erase this part of the line and then just trim that line up to here. I'm not really gonna machine this. This is just an extruded uh, bar that they'll get, so it's not really, I'm not worried about machining for this part, so it wouldn't really have an effect. Um, if I delete this line, you would want to use your trim command to trim this line to this line here. And I'm going to just make sure everything went okay by going here and right click object. When I auto search the whole thing, it should highlight. Okay. So when I analyze this, I am going to have an open profile but there's only the one open profile. If I had two open profiles, that would be no good. One open profile is fine because I'm going to do a revolution for this. Okay. If I analyze this to see if it's constrained, it tells me it's constrained. So now that I have a profile fully constrained, I can exit this and I can go to the model tab. And the one I'm looking for is called the shaft feature. So you have shafts and grooves. This is a shaft feature. And I want to simply do a 360 revolution. So I just leave this at 360. It's going to be a standard revolution. Hit OK. Oh, the axis of revolution is going to be this axis right here, right? So I'll pick that Y vector. The absolute axis, it may be hard to get. So what you can also do is right click and find the Y axis here. It's like, come on, 
select the OK button at 360, view, fit all in, and there's my bar. Um, it tells you the type of material I believe and you can go apply material, some kind of stainless steel. Um, the weight should ideally come out to 45 pounds, but there's like little things like this in here we're not going to catch. When you're doing your details in this class, these little tiny little grooves and stuff, I don't expect you to get that. Um, don't worry about that type of thing. Just get the main general shape. You can apply neural. We're not going to do that for this example. All right. So in the end, that's what we have is our stainless steel bar. And then the next thing would be to create a plate. So the next example would be putting on a 100-inch plate uh, on the left side.